Uh, come close. Come here. Yeah, the same bird which I rescued yesterday, he has a uh, nerve uh, damage issue in the neck. He's not the twisted neck patient bird. And I have fed him uh, food and fluid in the night. But what I food I fed him, he did not vomit the fluid he vomited half. So I'm giving this uh, uh, liver tonic to this bird. Just popped in. And this is the same fluid which I prepared yesterday, fluid and painkiller. Which I'm gonna give him now. Pause it. Yeah. So I'm administering this fluid drops. I don't want uh, to take the phone uh, so close because he gets panic. Yeah. See that? Yes. But this much close is fine. This is the same crate which, in which I'm keeping. I'm not keeping in a hospital cage for a few days because he tilts it and he uh, his wings get uh, stuck in the cage bars. So for a few days, until he is stable and walking and he is roosting on the perch, I'm gonna have to keep in this smaller crate or only because his twisted because of this twisted neck, he doesn't have balance. So at least in this smaller crate. Uh, he, he has a good back, he can sit nicely in that. So, in case if you find any uh, often abandoned soft uh, bill, uh, soft, soft bill birds, you're gonna come close, arch of us. You're gonna do is if you have sprouts or seeds or grain, you're just gonna hold it uh, very gently, uh, open his beak. You're gonna uh, just take it this thumb and finger and don't uh, don't stretch the beak okay just lower mandible beak and create a gap with the left other hand finger then just come close Aja. pass off pass Aja. pop and leave okay then you need to wait for a few seconds let him swallow see there was a moment of the throat so that means he was swallowing the food but still on this throat some of the dry seeds get stuck so you're gonna take these two fingers then you gently massage here it helps in sliding it down into the crop they have basically is crop over here and gizzard is down so this is sprouted seed this is soaked one easy for digestion because when birds fall sick there are a lot of people I uh, they call me they ask for the help and they don't know what to do what to feed they just uh, they try their best to help that bird and they uh, they have no most of people they have no experience in how to feed a uh, baby birds or helpless birds and who is not eating on their own so the bird is definitely uh, unwell and he is not going to eat anything so we need to force feed this is force feeding uh, seed uh, popping technique i'm just securing his head like this i'm not squeezing his neck i'm holding it very softly all right and after popping three to four seeds or grains i'm gonna give him fluid so that you know it's gonna help him uh, swallow that food down. You see that? There's a moment. Yeah. Okay. That was in my hand. Just fell down. So I'm making this video especially to that family, to that man uh, who rescued this bird and they gave me a good huge amount fund to uh, take care of this bird, to buy medicines and food for this bird. Uh, just eat your food ka packet. Uh, no, no, no need. I will. In next video, I'm gonna cover all that. I'm gonna bring my food packet and show in the video in an emergency what special food you guys can buy to help birds, but especially for uh, rock doves, uh, these uh, grainy warriors of birds who eat seeds for them, seeds and grains and some uh, roti pieces also works so i'm gonna give him only this much food around 5 grams 
uh, every four hours and let him rest in this great baby. I've kept his name Dave. Dave is gonna recover soon. He requires see that he he, he gets this. Piece. Yeah, he he gets panic and he tries to uh, fly, but he cannot because he doesn't have a proper uh, you know he cannot hold his neck in in position. See, just give me the phone. There is remaining. Don't stop, mat karna. Just give me. So you can see. I'll just move my hand. He's sitting quiet now. All right. He was stumbling and trying to fly off, but he doesn't have proper uh, uh, control and balance on his neck. It's not a twisted neck problem. So please don't get confused. Yes, Dave, you're gonna be okay. Dave, little birdie. You are at best place. We are going to help you. You are going to recover. And you are going to fly back uh, in the sky. And you are going to meet your friends, brother, sister. Your siblings if you have. Yes. We will release you when you re recover. You just need my support. We are there to help you. Yeah. See. Now I am touching him. He is not get getting panic. So this is called tender loving care technique. I'm holding it now in my hand. Come close, pass Archana. After feeding, I'm just sending him love, just like we do uh, to the puppies and small kids. We tell them you're gonna be fine. We just you know do this massage and scratches on the face because birds love it. And I'm just sending a message. I'm just transmitting that love from my heart into his heart that I'm helping you. And birds will understand that. They know what we are doing to them. This bird knows I'm helping him. He's sitting quiet. And very soon, in four to five days, he's gonna start self-feeding. So unless and until he starts self-feeding, I'm gonna have to continue feeding him with my hands. Hand feeding. So, if ever you guys, all the bird lovers, all the people, brothers and sisters, if you need my help, you can just uh, ask me for the help. Okay. Yeah. And he gets panic. Oh my god. Because that's very painful condition. You can ask me for the help. If you find any bird, you need my help in uh, helping that bird or foster treatment. Any injury if bird has or how to take care of that bird how to uh, for how many i mean if you want to foster any helpless bird and i can guide you how to do that i'm just i just love birds and i can't see i can't see them suffering any problem anything in pain because birds are god's creatures and they're just true and they're just beautiful Come close. Okay, I'm just gonna put him back in the in the crate now, and this time I'm holding his head like this, leaf firmly, so that I can set him into the position. Yes. yes. Now, yes, he's gonna try to get out. See that? I'm just gonna close it. Close, close. He jumps out. He can't fly well. Oh, Dave, come, baby. Dave. Okay, you have to be in this hospital crate for some days. You're gonna be fine. Yes, now he sits quiet. He sits quiet, baby. Dave. So just make sure if you are keeping any patient bird. In a crater box, there should be a lot of ventilation, a lot of holes and it should be, you know, you don't keep him in dark light, okay? And just keep him in bright light so the bird can see and he uh, he's not uh, scared and he doesn't get panic. Just leave the bird alone. Yes. A lot of times what happens is when we, 
uh, when we get getting any patient birds in the house and we we get panic and we don't know what to do even we see the birds you know uh, some birds bleeding and uh, they have you know chronic infection or injury and so some people they just try to give up so you can always contact your nearest rehabilitation center or any veterinarian uh, you can take help from any veterinarian uh, all the veterinarians know uh, bird rescuers or bird rehabbers or animal shelter and you know uh, this uh, uh, often age home for the birds and animals they can guide you where, who to call and where to take those helpless birds it's best of luck okay we're gonna keep him just quiet in this room now let him rest and after four hours he's gonna receive again food and medication from him and now stop